Hello everyone. This is the question from Gate 2021, Computer Science Set 2. We have been given six students, P, Q, R, S, T, and U, with distinct heights, and some observations made from comparing their heights. Observation one is S is taller than R. Observation two is. Q is the shortest of all. Observation three is U is taller than only one student. Observation four is T is taller than S but is not the tallest. So the question is, the number of students that are taller than R is the same as the number of students shorter than blank. So to find out the answer, we have to use rule of mathematical inequality. The mathematical expressions in which both sides are not equal are called inequalities. Inequality rule one is when inequalities are linked up, you can jump over the middle inequality. For example, if p is less than q and q is less than d, then we can say that p is also less than d. Inequality rule two is swapping of numbers p and q results in inequality reversion. For example, if p is greater than q, then q is less than p. Inequality rule three is only one of the following is true: p either p can be greater than q. Or p can be equal to q, or p can be less than q. So let's solve this problem. So here are the four observations for six students. We have to compare their height and sort them in order. For that, we will give them number one to six, one is, where one is the tallest and six will be the shortest. So, from first observation, S is taller than R. We can write that S is taller than R in mathematical inequalities. Where greater than suggests that S is taller than R. Q is the shortest of all. That means Q will be our number six because it is the shortest of all. Here will be number five. U is taller than only one student. U is taller than only one student. Means that student will be Q because from observation two it is the short. So U will be number five. And here number. Now from fourth observation T is taller than S. But not the tallest. So we have four spaces: one, two, three, four. But T is not the tallest. So T cannot be one. Therefore, T can be two or three, because T is also taller than S. From first observation, we can see that S is taller than R. So from mathematical inequalities rule. We can write T is taller than S, which is taller than R. Now we know T cannot be the first, and T has two students after it, so T will will be second, S will be third, and R will be fourth. T S. 
so we have five students only one student is remaining which is p so p is the tallest student now our question is the number of students that are taller than r number of students taller than r are p t and s that means three students are taller than r is the same as the number of students shorter than so we have to find a student which has three students after them in this queue so s after s there are three students who are shorter than s so s has same student shorter than a then r has student taller than a there are three students shorter than s so our answer is 